Hello guys, hope you all are doing well. Continuing to our LSVPN discussion, we'll move further uh, to our next uh, slide. So today we will discuss about how the connection process is done in Palo Alto large scale VPN. Right. So basically, this is a quick snip that I took from uh, Palo Alto official uh, documentation. So in this, uh, we can see that the first step that satellite does is it does a SSL with portal and it authenticates itself for authentication it uses serial number or another way is Palo Alto admin can manually authenticate it so these are the two ways that satellite can authenticate itself with portal now once the portal authentication is done portal sends config to satellite firewall so in this config portal sends list of all gateways Then it sends required certs It also provides signed certificates Basically all the configuration that we do under the profile on portal it sends that to satellite then satellite actually initiates a gateway uh, initiates a connection with gateway and it sets up the ipsec tunnel so here uh, one thing to remember is when satellite when satellite sets up the tunnel with gateway for that it first does authentication using SSL and then it starts the IPsec thing so this is one of the thing we need to remember and um, in this uh, uh, setup actually session is always initiated from satellite side uh, it's not the case that if satellite doesn't initiate the tunnel won't come up gateway also tries to initiate the uh, initiate the tunnel you know with satellite so this is how uh, basically this is how basically that st third step happens here then once the satellite it authenticates with gateway gateway push the uh, gateway push config in the sense 
access routes what routes uh, uh, you know what IP addresses uh, satellites can access so uh, this access route config is sent by gateway to satellite and once this config has been sent based off that the traffic comes from satellite to gateway and then it access the internal network you know corporate network for particular office uh, in the same way uh, we can do is we can send a default route to satellite firewall in a sense all the traffic would get routed through gateway so uh, in that case actually uh, if if we are uh, you know sending a default route through the satellite so this is our satellite firewall and this is our gateway site so if the default is towards the gateway then uh, there are some advantages there are some disadvantages so advantages we can see that all the uh, security policies uh, you know traffic going in and out that can be handled by gateway so it would be a you know single point of contact wherein uh, all the security policy can be managed this advantage is like let's say uh, you want to access any resource on internet right which is let's say 30 millisecond from here and your gateway is 10 millisecond and then from gateway to reach this resource uh, resource is let's say 40 millisecond so total it adds up to 40 plus 10 50 so to reach same resource you get 50 millisecond when it goes through gateway but when it goes directly to the local firewall to internet it gets 30 millisecond so um, it could be a uh, you know latency factor also to go with the uh, default traffic routing towards the gateway uh, so it depends on company's design how they want to do they can you know uh, design their uh, network traffic routing pattern so moving to our next slide so this is how uh, connection process basically it, it, it's done in Palo Alto LSVPN right so next is uh, there might be issues in where uh, SSL won't work or authentication won't happen so in that case these are the few handy commands that we need to run through CLI to check for the errors so app view web is the command that we can run to see for any SSL related issues and if there is any problem with uh, traffic going to SSL uh, daemon then pan packet die command can also be used to check that auth d is basically uh, mainly for the authentication uh, you know for global protect and uh, ras manager as the word says is a login logon event things user id will look at that later so basically these are the two things connection process 
and what are the debug logs that we can check to view logs on the firewall um, if you have any questions please comment i'll try to answer in the next session we'll proceed further with what ssl infrastructure uh, we need uh, ssl components ssl that we need to set up for lsvpn we'll go through that in our next session thanks for watching you have a good day thanks bye